Welcome to Online Mouse TV. My name is Jix Amemo. And today we have a challenge on logarithm, a logarithm equation. But before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that you can get notified whenever we drop a wonderful video like the one you are about to watch right now. Okay, so sit back as we dive into today's challenge. So here we have solution, solution. We write down our equation. The equation x log bracket a pin x minus root two close bracket base two flux log bracket a pin x flux root two close bracket base two minus log bracket a pin x minus one close bracket these two all equal to one. In this question, we are going to make use of some of the laws of uh, logarithm. Now, I have a video showing the laws of logarithm, about nine of them, and it's showing up here. Okay, you can probably watch that video to know the major nine laws or foundation to the operation of logarithm challenges. Okay, now. The ones we are going to apply here are the multiplication law and the division law. The multiplication law of logarithm says that if you have log m base 10 plus log n base 10, said multiply the log so long they are having the same base. So this will now give us log m n base 10. Very simple. So we are going to apply that here. The second law is that of division. It says that if you have log m minus log n of the same b's, said divide the log. So we have here m divided by n, or it will be 10. And the last one we are going to use here, or to apply here, is the log of any number base itself or the log of any alphabet base itself is one so that law says that if you have log a base a is equal to one or log two base two is equal to one so these are the three major logs greeting laws we are going to use in this challenge so let's go on and apply them and see how they will help us to solve this. So from here, this is a plus sign. So we have to multiply this by this, divided by this. So because they are having the same base number. So we have here log base 2, bracket x minus root 2, close bracket into x plus root 2, close bracket, all over your x minus 1, which is this, close bracket, or into a square bracket, equal to log 2 base 2. is the same thing as this one we have here now. Okay, so we proceed again. From here, this, we take care of this, because they are the same, and there is an equality sign here. So we cannot open this bracket here. So if we open the terms inside this bracket, Dx will now become x squared plus x times root 2 will give us x root 2. Then we come to this term, minus root 2 times x will give us minus x root 2. Then minus root 2 times plus root 2 will give us minus root 4. Okay, all over, let's put this in bracket x minus 1, close bracket, or equal to 2. Because the movement here is very simple. We use this to multiply dx. We use dx to multiply dx. Then we now use dx to multiply dx. Also use dx to multiply dx. That is the arrow movement. Okay, so let's continue again. From here, you now discover that we're having plus x root 2 minus x root 2, this and this 
we leave. So we are now left with your x squared minus root 4 will give us 2. So all over x minus 1 equal to 2. All right. From here, this is all over divisible 1. So we cannot cross multiply. So from here, let's proceed. Let's proceed from here. Dix will now give us x squared minus 2 equal to 2 into dix will give us 2 into x minus 1. Open on bracket to give us x squared minus 2 equal to 2x minus 2. If we collect our light terms, then we move this to this other side, take the constant test to one side. So we have here x squared minus 2x, when this cos is the sign of equality, equal to minus 2, take this to this other side, plus 2. Okay, now at this point, this we go with this. So we are now left on the left hand side with x squared minus 2x equal to 0. Wow. Very simple. What we do here, we can factor out x here. So if we factor out our x, dx will now become x bracket x minus 2 or uh, equal to 0. So from here, we apply the zero product property. And if we do that, x will now be equivalent to 0 or uh, x minus 2 will be 0. So we have our s to be 0 on this other side, or x, if you collect your light terms, equal to 2. So therefore, x is equal to 0, or 2. These are the two possible values for our x. The question says, if log x plus log bracket of y minus 2, close bracket, equal to 0. Find y in terms of x. Now, we pull down our question, which is, we have here, log x plus log bracket y, y minus 2 equal to 0. Now, if you check very well, if you look very well, you discover that the base in which this log is given, uh, they are not specified, okay? So, whenever you have a question of this kind, they know that they are giving in base 10, which is a natural log, okay? So this is in base 10, this is also in base 10. All right, so from here, we want to make y the subject of the formula after we succeeded in looking for um, our expression. So what we do here is this. We have to introduce log 10, log base 10 to this other side, okay? There's a law which says that log 1, 1 base a is equal to 0, or log 1 base 10 is equal to 0. So the log of 1 base any number is equal to 0. Now, the video I produce on it is showing up here, okay? So you can equally watch that video to see the nine basic rules or laws that are the foundation of logarithm. So if we apply that log to this other side, then we're going to have something of this kind. And we have here log x plus log bracket y minus 2 close bracket equal to log. Like I told you, we are dealing with base 10. So it's going to give us log 1, base 10. Okay? So if we have this, we now look at this. We bring in the product law of logarithm, which says that if you have log m, okay, plus log n, dx we give us log m times n, or into base 10. Or this one, we are having base 10. So this expression, you know, is what we have in here. So we convert it to this format. If we do that, this will automatically give us log x bracket y minus 2 close bracket equal to log 1. Okay? So, so and there is an equality sign here. So, this and this we go. So, from here, we are now left with 
x bracket y minus 2 equal to 1. Mind you, the question says find y in terms of x. So we want to find y here. And y is inside this bracket. So we divide through by x. So from here we now say divide true, divide true by x. So let's proceed from here and see what this gives us. Uh, if we divide this by x, then automatically we're going to have here x bracket y minus 2 all over x equal to 1 all over x. And you know, x will take care of itself here. This and this will leave the system. So when this leave, we are now left with y minus 2 equal to 1 all over 2. Sorry, all over x. All over x. Okay. We look now. We are looking for y. So automatically, y will give us sin minus 2 to this side. It's going to give us plus sign. 1 all over x. We have made y the subject of the formula, which is what we are asked to look for here. Okay? So this is the solution to Dick's logarithm equation. Okay? So, it is as short as whatever. But if you gain something, if you have learned something from this video, give it a thumbs up. Or drop a comment in the comment section. I say thanks, Jay. Okay? And if you have a better way of solving this, also drop it in the comment section. Okay? Thanks for being there. Jake's loves you. Online Mass TV also loves you for your time. Bye for now.